Let's rodeo. Everything's bigger in Texas. This is the skillet right here. At Rodeo Houston, deep frying is their specialty, and breaking world records comes naturally. The main purpose of it all? Raising money, $22 million for scholarships this year. But it's been three weeks of a non-stop party. It's time to rodeo! And we boot scooted and boogie till we can't stop anymore. Let's saddle up for the best of the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. The best time of year is wrapping up. The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo is coming to an end. I'm Caroline Collins. And I'm Sherman DeSell. Let me tell you, this rodeo was one for the books. We had a whole lot of stars, a lot of cash, and a whole lot of country, of course. Yeah, we had some fun, too. You should take a look at this. What makes Rodeo Houston special to you? Oh, my. Have you got two hours? Texas is the number fifth in the nation in milk production. Texas so there's is a lot of dairy five here in the nation in milk production. Yeah. We're teaching the public. Teach, teach, teach. Uh, livestock stewardship. Take care of those that take care of us. The goat ate my mic pool. <laughs> you think that I could ride her? Or at least sit? Well, you probably, we get you a sit on her. Yeah. Okay. Start hitting record on your DVR right now. Put there. Yep, and just step on over. <laughs> There you go. Oh, man. This is going to be the first time in my life that I've been able to uh, do the seven-day forecast here from the back of a world championship cutting horse. How high is the highest you've ever come off the ground trying to avoid a bull? I don't know. Eight feet, maybe. Ooh. How about you? Yeah, probably close to there. Sometimes they feel a lot higher, but you're just float floating across the arena. So well. Mudbuster on her way. There goes Taylor. She's got some beautiful yellow flowers on her boots. She makes a little crazy eight there, and she finishes out the round. Hi, Leslie. How are you? Can you can you talk? 1,988 youth breeding rabbits out here. Now, the aroma is, you know, it's just like beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I think smell is like that as well. <laughs> it's a neon party! We're passing out glow sticks and lighted rings and things on the table, so everybody's wearing some neon. I, of course, I did not, but thank you very much for doing that. Thank you that. for representing for the Neon Lovers. So tell us about the pig racing. What can we expect? Sure, sure, absolutely. So we uh, it's a family fun show, fun for everybody of all ages. You watch our pigs race around. We do three heats of four pigs each. Hey, Snoop Dogg, let's go, let's go, Snoop Dogg, go, 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 go. So that's 12 racing pigs, and, of course, our swimming pig, Swifty, the swimming pig. Hey, Snoop Dogg with the win. Let's talk about parakeets because that's where we are with the parakeet encounter. I don't see these birds in my backyard. Where, where are these parakeets from? Yep, so parakeets originate from Australia. They're an Australian bird. You see a lot of different colors and all that such. Um, one of the most common questions we get is, you know, are different colors, different species, all this stuff. Um, they are actually all the same species here. And this one was a record setter this year. It is Curtis Jackson, also known as 50 Cent, his champagne, the grand champion Le Chemin du Roi. He's got a great palate, and he actually selected this out of champagne by himself. Mm. So this is an actual champagne. Wow. It was a reserve grand champion wow. a couple of years ago, nice. and the grand champion this year. And don't forget a trip to the Carnival and the Junction. There's 80 rides total with two brand new rides joining the fleet there. I will be hopping on one of the new rides coming up at 9 a.m. This was not my idea, Jose. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was twist and thrill. I gotta tell you, definitely one you want to check out I've here. I've never seen <laughs> you or heard you speechless before, Chelsea. <laughs> oh, that's so yeah, funny. Yeah. Now listen, if you come to the rodeo, you are bound to work up an appetite. Mm, that is for sure. From Texas-sized skillets to deep-fried, pretty much everything, you got to get a taste of some of what we experienced. About to taste the food. That's right, Chelsea. The gates are open. It's official. It is rodeo time in H-Town. Look at this. Can you believe this food? Chicken on a stick with the chicken is actually dipped in the hot melted cheddar cheese, rolled in Cheetos, the hot Cheeto cheese pickle pizza yes say that 10 times really fast <laughs> hey keep your eyes on the fries this colossal curly fry cone is two and a half pounds so guys this is the hot cheeto chicken and the captain chicken both of them completely different cheers should we cheers it cheers. there you go I thought this was going to be really sweet, no. but the sauce is just sweet enough. It's just perfect. The peanut butter Captain Crunch cereal, believe it or not, takes some of the edge off of the honey raspberry. I love it. You got it all over. You know that it's good. <laughs> so, so here funnel we cake go. is a really important staple here at the rodeo. I like some funnel cake with my whipped cream. Is that okay? Absolutely. A little bit. We uh -uh. know. 
And here we go. Here come the crunch berries, and this is the texture that makes it super fun. This is a deep fried fruity pebble shrimp pineapple bowl. Oh, the cowboy burritos, either breakfast or lunch. We're cooking all day long. The show gets better as the crowd gets bigger. I want to be here like funnel cakes. You know what I'm saying? So as long as the rodeo's here and they'll have us, we plan on serving trail burgers to the people. We're, we're looking at a minimum of about 1,200 burgers a day, but we're hoping to get up to about 2,000 total a day and more. That's why we got a bigger setup, we got a bigger kitchen, bigger staff. We're doing it bigger and better here at Trail Burgers this year. The biggest seller for you here in Texas is what? Brisket biscuit. The bri absolutely. Absolutely. People like the brisket. Yeah. So we have six colors that we make from scratch. We have a blackberry, a peach, cherry apple, pecan, and chocolate. Chocolate is our newest baby in the family. Well, why are you holding this in your hand? I thought you might want a little peach and pecan that we made this morning. Well, what are you doing? I I'm mean, trying to tempt you. Uh, and then we've just moved through the booth. <laughs> we've, um, we've, our shakes are also very popular. Five seconds. And then we do um, bluebell ice cream to, to top off the cobbler. Tell them bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Fox. <laughs> and this is the pineapple Dole Whip Blue Slushy Float. Just oh, little, absolutely. Little, 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 little. There you go. Mm. Isn't that yummy? Love the pineapple, And right? that's vegan? That's vegan. Regular lemonade, sour apple lemonade, cherry lemonade, mucho bingo, watermelon, and what we call the pepino lime. This one here is cucumber and lime, and we top them with oh, fresh mango fruit on top. Coming up as we look back on the best of the rodeo, how to work off all that carnival food, well, the shopping here because it's a real sport. It is. You burn some calories. And the stars at night are big and bright on the star stage. We chat with some of the entertainers and the A-listers that brought their talents to H-Town. Now, whether you're a rodeo veteran or a rodeo first-timer, it is always an experience. No, seriously, I am a rodeo first-timer, and I can't even tell you what my favorite parts are because I enjoyed all of it, mm. from the trail rides in to tasting the food oh, to shopping for this outfit. I know, and even riding all the carnival rides. We're doing all the things out here, and I can't think of a better way to experience my first rodeo than with Fox 26. I'm not so sure I trust any horse. Okay, Cutter? Yes. Okay, too tight. Right here? Yeah, touch anyway. Okay. Ah! Too tight. Nice. Apparently, I'm going to try to drive the mules, so let's go. Yes. Woo! Terrified, I only lasted a few minutes in the driver's seat. Oh my gosh. I don't know how they're trusting me to do this right now. I'm getting into the rodeo spirit at Rock'em, where they sell everything that you need to be the most fashionable at the rodeo. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. <gasps> oh my God. That's ready for the rodeo. I feel like I'm in a Western photo shoot or something. Yeah, it looks very good on you. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I've never seen a pig quite like this. I've seen it rotating on a spit. Wide open, guts wide open. Yeah. What well, you just saw I right now. I eat that. In order for that meat to come out real good and sweet, that she said it was tasting real good mm -hmm. earlier today, you've got to kiss the nose, and that's what helps make it sweet. No way. I'm like just, somebody. No. Okay, it's up to you. You don't have to, but someone gets to kiss the pig. No. I, way. I think you're gonna have to pass on this one. Oh, oh, and it's, oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right. So Caroline is gonna give you a napkin. This is called a barbecue plate. <laughs> Best bacon I've ever had. <laughs> a lot better at wine tasting. Than, oh, than I am busting balloons. I didn't think I'd get one. I'm sorry, I screamed in the microphone. Wow, I'm a champ at this one. We're good. Oh, we got it. We're great. We I'm got it. Oh yes. Give me a. Because I don't want to practice. And I know what I'm doing. Ow, it's on my. Wow. Well, this was a real experience. I'm glad we did it. We're not drinking this though. No. We're not drinking it. You have me sitting in a roller coaster that's new to the rodeo, and basically this is an exclusive report because no other media has been on this yet. Ah, I'm so nervous. Absolutely. This is one of two new rides to the rodeo. We've got 80 in total, and like Caroline said, she's the first to ride it. I'm going to try the brisket. That's this one right here, right? Yep, that's With my favorite. hand. Okay, here we go. Oh! Slice that. Oh. Slice that? Yeah. 
So it isn't just my first time here at the Houston Rodeo. Sherman, it's yours as well. It is. And you know what? It's not right until I find a good pair of boots, right? I really wanted to find a nice pair. So take a look at all the shopping that's available here at NRG. We have vendors. We fill with 250 vendors from across the world, in some cases. Uh, we try to curate the best shopping experience and just a little bit different stuff every year. We're in the men's boot section right here. Gotta tell me what we have here and uh, what looks good on what and what's the most popular shoe. We've got a ton of great options here at the KZ, from Western boots to horsemen. So you gotta show off the ones you are you rocking show them today. Off. You gotta show them off. Yes, these are absolutely, these are the Cecil, and this is a smooth ostrich yep, that yep. you've got on. But there you have it right there, guys. You want to come in here, come to Luke Casey. They can certainly outfit you in a boot, guys. It's almost overwhelming with how much there is to offer inside the NRG Center. From, um, we have banana ketchup, um, to beard oils, to coffee. I want to go see this banana ketchup, guys. Where over here in the corner. So lots of people lo love it. We had it at State Fair, and people, people bought it and loved it. I can bring some back for you. I wanted a square toe. Yeah. What'd you say? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Got him. Now listen, there's big spenders, and then there's Houston Rodeo spenders, a different category. We're talking about a quarter of a million dollars just for a lamb at the world record auctions. Who gets all of that money? That's a great question. But also, just like the song, deep in the heart of Texas, deep in the heart of NRG Stadium, we talked to some of the biggest headliners here at the Houston Rodeo Concert. Welcome back. Well, there's big spenders, and then there's Houston Rodeo spenders. We're talking about quarter of a million dollars just for a little lamb. I know, all that money going to students, even for artwork. Here's what I found out. Steer's name is Magic, 275, 300,000. Cut three and a quarter now, half, half, three and a half. The auctions at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo are a huge contributor to scholarships. Some of the new record-setting moments this year include the Grand Champion Lamb exhibited by 17-year-old John Austin North from Sanger, Texas. It sold for $350,000. Brinley Hogue from Lubbock, Texas, sold her grand champion market goat for a Houston record-breaking $240,000. And the grand champion work of art, a painting titled Our Last Roundup, created by 18-year-old Mia Huckman of Lamar CISD, sold for $275,000, a new record. So how much of this money actually goes to the students putting in the hard work? Well, they get a percentage of that, now the art auction, they get a minimum of $28,000, and now the remainder of that goes into our fund that supports our scholarships. Everybody thinks that you've got to come from a farmer or ranch background in order to be in 4-H or FFA. That's not the case. The art programs that we have here, ag mechanics, all of the other opportunities to receive premiums and scholarships, that's what we're going to do. Houston pays $22 million this year. From breeders winning big to the big names on the star stage. Yeah, Rodeo Houston brings out some of the biggest names in the business, and for this year, that meant a hometown boy. I'm a little bit harder to love than a ranch. Why does this have to be so hard? How do you connect with the crowd in a stadium of 70,000 people? You know, you can hear them. Uh, it's a little bit of a delay just because they are so far away, and there's so many of them. Yes, ma'am. Which concert do you want to go to? Slim Thug. A lot of the music that we picked for this is designed for you to stand up mm -hmm. and move. Up up early, my dealers don't sell work after night time. Your chopper blade, roll a hoop and move it, don't do the pipeline. Be invited, like, I mean, yeah, it's on my top ten list of cool things that has happened to me. Are you about to get it started? for the first time at the Houston Rodeo, am I right? 
Yes, ma'am. I'm I'm pumped about it. You know what this means? This means don't touch, Fred. Don't touch. You know, in playing Rip, what, what, what character, what parts of his character do you identify with, and what ones do you really struggle with as you play the character? Oh God, uh, I don't think I struggle with too much. I mean, I, I enjoy every part of him. I mean, I, I think one of the things that makes him great is. You know, his loyalty, his honesty, his love for Beth. I mean, I think uh, Taylor and I, have, in my opinion, have created, you know, a throwback to the modern American man. Handsome guy right here, which everyone loves, his character on Yellowstone, and he is a hottie. Y'all could have posters now in your bedroom. Would you have a poster? Yes. He's in the spank bank. For sure. Uh, for sure. I told him, I said, thank you so much for being kind, because there's a bunch of horny old women here, so we appreciate yeah. your time. <laughs> Still ahead, we're taking you to where the magic actually happens here at the rodeo, the birthing center. Aside from all the birds and the bees you can find at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, we have a secret. We do, a cute one. This is where actually all the magic happens. We're here at the birthing center and joined by these two cute baby lambs. Look at that. They're so gentle. I see they why are. the expression goes gentle as a lamb. We want to bring in Rich. He is in charge of the birthing center Hi, here at the rodeo. Hi, Rich. Um, who are we holding today? We've got a couple little lambs. One of 17 we had born so far. Wow. And we have two moms yet to go. Two ewes. Wow. How, how, uh, how much detail goes into operating this birthing center during the rodeo? Most of the time, the birth or delivery or parturition is the elementary part. Like you said, detail, where the rubber meets the road yeah. and is making sure the moms uh, are bounced back, doing well and solid, babies getting their colostrum, mother's first milk. Wow, and it's not just lambs that are born here. Right. What else can you see around here? Baby pigs, baby calves. We just had a baby calf about two hours ago. Wow. Yeah, and it was her first calf, the mother's, and she just graduated from a heifer to a cow because she had her first calf. And the and the people get to experience this, right, when they come sure. to the birthing yeah, center. Absolutely. You can actually see a birth happen. You can actually see a birth happen. I see you guys have video. I, when I was walking over here, my mouth was just wide open. I was like, oh, what are wow. we about to so see? But thing? this is for cute, sure. though. This is the product yeah. of those births, so and they're sweet. adorable. Rich, thank you so much for all you do here at the rodeo. We appreciate it. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, thanks for rodeo. explaining how it works. Thank you. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us on Fox 26 for our rodeo special. I can't believe it's come to an end. It has. It's been a marathon, but we'll be back same time next year.